step off in order to go play. And he's going. So we've got number two in the state. They're rocking, I believe you said Fox Ices. Probably. How do you feel about that team? Um, I mean, Tyler's really good in teams, but he always struggles with the whole, like, you know, yeah, I'm playing Ices in teams. We're uh -huh. going to get bullied. Uh, but I think he always does a good job. Like, there's never a time where he can be, like, really the aggressor, like, or right. at least often. Uh, but Alex Alex Fox is definitely an aggressor. So. It's an aggressor. I yeah. think that's another reason he probably doesn't play the Marth, because his Marth in singles is not... I, it's aggressive. It swing. It swings a hundred times a day. But like, I don't Not think. Not as it, much as his fox. Yeah, I think his fox is just near, 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 near up smash. Yeah. Like, it's it's pretty. And the thing is, in teams, that kind of strategy is really good, because if you have another character, especially Icy's, and a very good one at that, to support you, just nonstop putting hitboxes out. And if you're spacing okay, then you're gonna have a lot of pressure on that team. I think we're doing hand warmers here. Yeah, this, this is definitely. This definitely doesn't look good. Oh my god, beef tips here. I'm gonna nut. Um, but yeah, I, I could honestly, this wouldn't surprise me if it were an upset over Sharks and Gato, but they're clearly still the favorite. Uh, it really depends on, I think, how much Zach gets good. Because I think Zach is good in teams. He's the wild card. He's the non-PR. He is good in teams. And I think, um, I've teamed with Colin a lot. Uh -huh. He's pretty stable in teams. He rarely has a bad time except for that one time at the Famicom, but yeah. Um. That one time. <laughs> we don't speak of it that. It was just one set and loses, but... Um, yeah, in teams, he's pretty confident in his, yeah. in his ledge play. It's really about how much he gets gimped with, by Alec, because I think right. Alec's going to be the one doing it. But anyways. I think Colin himself is pretty good at baiting a fox to get He hit, holds space you know pretty I mean? well. He, I think that's one of his like greatest like attributes. Mm -hmm. is when he holds space, it's pretty, pretty I have solid. to go play, but okay. good luck. All right, so we're doing some young solo commentary, I guess. Starting on Pokemon, pretty pretty standard start. Uh, Icy's don't like a top platform. Falco kind of likes a top platform, but I mean he likes the space too. So a big thing that I think uh, is going to be important is if either uh, Sharks or Gato starts bullying the Marth, how Zach deals with or Beardu deals with like getting space back for the Marth is like super crucial. So because like right now the red team's in control, and I think this like is going to be the standard for neutral, but it really depends on how they deal with it when they're not in control. Great shine bear to shield. He's opting to finish the edge guard, which it ends up working out. Colin held uh, Tyler pretty well, or more so really Tyler didn't uh, approach at all. Okay. Standard standard fox for him. Yeah, I mean, that was a hit on Colin for, like, get lazily getting up from ledge, but there's potentially something Zach could have done there. Oh, yeah, see, like, just Zach needs to hold his face a bit stronger. And, oh, uh, yeah, see, when he, got, when he gets his combo game going, he's holding space very well. But I think just in general neutral, it's a struggle. But I do know Zach's, like, pretty solid in the Ice Seed matchup and, like, you know, uh, very, pretty, very solid in the Fox matchup as well. I think he said he struggled with the Fox matchup a bit. Uh, this is just happening. Okay. What a combo from Tyler. But it's really actually important to find those times where you can threaten the wobble in teams because you need to make sure that they're still afraid of it. Because they, they, like it's one of them. Ooh, Tyler's nano is not range there. That sucks. Uh, got a bit of a disconnect right now. Okay. Bit of a frame rate job. Gato's currently getting juggled, and Tyler, as the ice, really can't do too much. Ooh, very lucky that oh, was late enough. Ugh. I would say Gato's playing pretty, pretty sloppy right now. He needs to kind of uh, calm down and stick with uh, Tyler so you can mainly protect him when he's in these like rough situations so he doesn't lose his mana for free. Oh, okay. So blue team now is stage control. This is like really what's gonna decide the set, right? Like you have that like awkward three stock amount. Ooh, huge tipper from Tyler. Not Tyler. Uh, from Colin. Ugh. Sloppy. Double down smash catches the grab at his shield. And while red team had the lead early, overall like the kills from the, the blue team have been pretty efficient. Uh, oh my god, that tipper is actually kind of huge on Nana. Gets a save, but I mean, oh. Oh, this should be it for the Falco. Oh, no, he doesn't bear. Tries to get a bit lazy. Oh, that bear's gonna steal it, yeah. Ooh, a bit of an early.
early getup. So Marth can do this. It's just extremely difficult, especially when he probably has the KO Nana as well. And Rock is like the worst for a 2v1. Because in 2v1. Oh my god. Okay. Just like that. Oh. Pokemon is a silly stage. Well, that was a very close game one. I think. I mean, usually this is what happens with the underdog team that, like, you know, it's kind of playing hot. They seem to be playing pretty well, like, you know, mainly controlling the pace of the game with punishes, and then kind of after that, like, those hard punishes slow down, it becomes a bit more scrappy and things kind of devolve. That's when usually the, t the team with not only better synergy but more experience kind of finds the opportunities to get the quicker kills and, like, control space and make sure that those edge guard conversions are in their favor. And that's really what teams are all about. I wouldn't be surprised if they went to Battlefield. That probably would be the most likely stage. Are they going to go back? That makes sense. Uh, I guess that's uh, Zach's way of saying I don't need to leave me in the top platform. He's pretty confident in his ability to uh, uh, to get out of the corner uh, by himself. See, great job from Zach. He's really holding Alec in the corner. I think Alec's mainly been struggling with Zach in uh, getting in. Oh, big greedy from Alec there in the corner. It's really, it's really weird to commit the team, especially in the corner, because you really just want to hold stage for your team. See, like, Alec commit, committed there again. Unfortunately, Colin couldn't get to the other side of the stage fast enough. And yeah, for the most part, neutral's been in control of the blue team this game, besides the couple times they've been getting hard combo. I think a huge thing right now is that when Tyler's in shield, uh, they really need to abuse the fact that he's in shield and either h Hardcore 2v1 uh, Alec or Hardcore 2v1 uh, the, sh the, the shielding Icy's and so that they can just push him out of shield and into the corner. But for the most part, Red Team's been kind of doing their own thing. Oh, yeah, unfortunate. That should have been a pretty easier save, but nothing comes from it. This is probably one of the most frustrating things about Tyler. He's one of the, like, honestly one of the better ICs at, like, recovering and staying alive in teams because there's a lot of chaos that happens, and whether you're an IC that abuses that or gets punished by it is, it's, like, really important. Ooh. So this this stage transformation heavily favors uh, Red Team because, well, I mean, you're seeing with up tilts being a bit silly. However, uh, ICs extremely struggle with any amount of verticality that's in their way. Oh. Mediocre DI in that back air, and that's gonna be it. So yeah, this is kind of what I was saying, where I think Neutral's only going slightly favor blue team, but Red probably has a slightly better punish. However, uh, Zach is getting killed early. Oh, ho, ho. big tips. Big tips. Uh-oh. We got Tylenol coming on the mic. Oh, and that's a wobble. What's up? Uh, game animation. Oh, I should have updated this where I'm sorry. Uh, is it not gonna move? Up? Okay. So one of Shark Auto, I guess. Yeah, it was a close game one. Uh, Red Team kind of started off hot. Oh, awkward pause. Awkward pause. I'm sure they're fine with it. Yeah. Because it's a local. Vader kind of moves him. Yeah, he's definitely been playing well. It's just that as a Falco, he's been getting punished really hard, and he hasn't been playing exceptional, you know? Yeah. You have to play exceptional as a Falco in teams to, you know, because you can do it, but if you make any mistakes, it can be very rough. Gato with uh, running to the corner, shine up smash. The Gato. Yeah, Gato the, Fox. Got the confirmation on Jerry uh, there. So shield drop up in here. Interesting choice. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it got to go for a full hop up here there. Uh, I think it might have killed his. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, maybe he was reading the shield drop, maybe the shield grab. Not too sure. But whatever he was doing, he was reading it. Definitely literate there. He didn't see that there was a movie release. Oh, okay. he, he just wanted to read the book. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, uh, pretty, I guess, pretty clean game two at least. For it was a lot cleaner of a game two. Uh, uh, really, it was more, uh, I think Red Team lost a bit of momentum. Right. But it was a good set overall. Mm -hmm. I don't know how often Bearjew and Colin uh, uh They've teamed a couple of times. Uh, for the most part, what I know Bearjew usually does just in enter teams. And Colin has often, like, teamed with, like, me usually. Or he teams with, like, I don't know, like, Sharks, I guess, if, the, if uh, Alec isn't there. What's up? Yeah. No. 
<laughs> I'm in losers, I don't know, like round three, I guess. Just no, and then just turns right, away. It's round three or round four. I can't remember. Who'd you play? Played Tahim and Darkheart, 1-2-1. One, one. Uh, played Hi-Fi and Dash, lost 2-0. I'm teaming with uh, Smith. Gotcha. Yeah. I have no idea what sets we have. We have about 11 teams entered, so it's like a pretty decent turnout. 22 people.